Use the data below to find the S squared or the variance for the random error of the least squares prediction line used to predict the average weight for supermodels given their height. So we're looking for the S squared value, or in other words, the variance for the random error of the least squared prediction line used to predict the average weight for supermodels given their height. Okay, so they give us some nice summary data to work with, right? And they have the raw data here, but we don't need it because we have the summary values. That's most important for us. To calculate S squared, we need a formula, of course, and the formula turns out to be this. So S squared is equal to the sum of squares for the error term divided by N minus 2, where the sum of squares for the error term is defined as SSYY minus beta 1 hat, the estimate for the slope, times SSXY, the mixed term, and all of that again is under N minus 2. To get these quantities on the top here, we're going to need the sum of square values. So let's go ahead and calculate those one by one, starting with SSXX. So we're going to need the sum of X squared minus the summation of X quantity squared over N, right? And then we'll have the summation of xy, the mixed term. And again, that will be the summation of x times y minus the summation of x times the summation of y, again, divided by n, right? And then we'll have, finally, the summation of yy, which is the summation of y squared minus the summation of y quantity squared divided by n. Let's fill in these values for each formula. So the summation of x squared is given to us as 44,399.5 minus the sum of x quantity squared, that's 632 squared over n. Now n is the original number of ordered pairs we had. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So n here is 9. Okay, now we'll work that out in a moment. Let's go ahead and do the next one first though, filling in the numbers. So we have 76,546. 76,546 minus the sum of x times the sum of y. That's 632 times 1,089 divided by nine. All right, and then we're going to do the summation of y squared, that value is 132,223, 223. That's the summation of y squared, minus the summation of y quantity squared, that's going to be 1,089, 1,089 squared divided by 9. Okay, now let's whip out the calculator and do those calculations one by one. Okay, starting with the sum of squares for the x value. So 44,399.5 minus 632 squared divided by nine. And when we do that, we get the answer 19.05 repeating. So 19.05 repeating. All right, for the next number, we get 76,546 minus 632 times 1089 divided by nine. When we hit enter, we end up with a nice number of 74. Then we'll have 132,223 minus 1089 squared divided by nine. Hit enter, we get 454, 454. All right, so there are our three sum of squared values. Now, it's our job to take those values and come up with the slope. So beta 1 hat. Remember, that's the mixed term, sum of square xy over sum of squares for the x value. So sum of squares for the xy term is going to be a simple number 74 there. And the sum of squares xx is 19.05 repeating. All right. What does that turn out to be when we work that out? Well, we'll have 74 divided by 19.055555. Hit enter, and we get the answer 3.8338. So I'm going to store that in my calculator as x. And again, I will use that value here for my slope. So 
three dot dot dot, right? All right, now that value is gonna be used in the formula for S squared and SSE. So let's go ahead and write that formula down and finish our problem. So we're doing SSE over N minus two. So in this case, that's gonna be the sum of squares for the Y terms, which is gonna be 454 minus the slope we just calculated, which we were gonna put in as 3.88, let's just say 34 to round off here a little bit. And then we're going to do times the sum of squares for the mixed term, which is a nice value of 74. And divide all of that by 9 minus 2, or 7. Okay, let's work out all that and see what it turns out to be. So we'll have 454 minus the slope times 74. Hit enter, I get 166.629 dot dot dot, right? All over 7. So divide that by seven, and we get the answer 23. So S squared is equal to 23.804 dot, 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 on and on and on. So the variance for the random error term is 23.804, so on and so forth.